Praise the Lord. My name is Augustine and this is Men Must Pray. So this channel is about speaking in tongues. If you love speaking in tongues and learning about prayer, you're welcome to subscribe and follow along the teachings. So today, I discovered something recently. And that's what I want to share about. I'm sure you've already seen it in the title. That praying in tongues aloud makes you soak in the spirit quicker. And this is something I realized just recently. I normally speak in tongues one hour first thing in the morning when I wake up. It's part of my routine. And of course, as much as I'm praying in tongues for spiritual reasons, I also try to find physical physical tweaks that I can add to my prayer life to make it uh, more efficient. And so I treat speaking in tongues more like a, a project uh, as much as it is a spiritual gift that I exercise. So that the day, like, um, the, like how I spoke in tongues yesterday and how I speak in tongues today, today should be easier both physically and spiritually than yesterday to get a breakthrough. And that is how I grow in the gift. So this is one of the things I realized just recently. And it was, of course, amazing to learn of this new thing. So, this is how it all happened. First, I was not a person who used to wake up early in the morning. I had a challenge waking up early in the morning. So, I used to wake up mid-morning. So, I would sleep very late in the night, then wake up mid-morning. But then I realized that praying is easier when it's still early in the morning. So, I tried to... I moved my schedule to a point that it will accommodate me going to bed early and waking up earlier so that I have a chance to pray in tongues earlier. And when I did that, it worked out well. But there was a big problem. Praying early in the morning meant that I had just come from sleep, so I was still feeling sleepy on some days. And that would make it very difficult for me to speak in tongues. Because I realized that speaking in tongues uh, easily makes your mind go, go numb. And when your mind goes numb, then of course you quickly fall back into sleep. So I had a challenge those early days when it came to speaking in tongues. But then recently I realized that if I can just raise my voice, then automatically it kicks in a sequence of events that just helps me soak deeper in the spirit, which now makes praying in tongues sweeter, and then it makes me uh, continue praying in tongues and not fall asleep. So this is what I have realized. To pray in tongues, you need to have confidence. And the more confident you are, the greater what your chance of accessing and soaking deep in the spirit. But of course, there is that question of how do you gain confidence? <clears throat> because many times you may be told you need to, to be confident when you're praying in tongues for you to soak deep in the spirit. But for somebody who is just beginning, it's usually very difficult to be confident. And so this is what I realized. That when God is, uh, when God gave us this gift of praying in tongues, and how God naturally deals with us is that He gives us opportunities to access Him either by doing a physical thing or a spiritual thing. And I will explain. You see, when it came to praying in tongues, my assumption was that the only way to be confident when you are praying in tongues is if the Holy Spirit or the power of the Holy Spirit falls upon you heavily, then you will be confident. And that's actually what was happening to me previously. The previous times I spoke in tongues aloud and very confidently, it was when I had soaked so much into the power of the Holy Spirit. Basically, I was in church and a man of God laid hands on me and I would speak in tongues with so much boldness because the power of the Holy Spirit was upon me. The same thing that happened to the disciples of Jesus on the day of Pentecost. They spoke in tongues boldly because the Holy Spirit had come upon them. Now, I used to assume that was the only way for somebody to be confident to speak in tongues. But the challenge I had was that that was not sustainable because it was not every other day that 
I would get the opportunity to be laid hands on and for me to speak in tongues confidently. It was not every day that I would attend where, like I would attend those fellowships. So that meant that it would happen like a few times a month if I was lucky. Some months it will never happen. And so I said, does this mean that now I cannot pray confidently just because I have to wait for some special event for me to gain access to the deep spiritual realms and pray confidently? And so that's when I tried coming up with physical, with physical tweaks to see if they will make me pray confidently. And then the Lord began revealing to me that whether you approach it from the physical side or from the spiritual side, God has provided both of those avenues to make it easy for us to access him. So that people who are more spiritual, they will have an easy time accessing God or becoming confident in prayer through their spiritual knowledge. Then those who are not uh, so well endowed with spiritual knowledge, they can still use the physical the physical approach and still eventually get to those deep spiritual realms and still access God. And so I began uh, just uh, paying attention to the natural way we speak. And I remembered I once attended a training about, um, about singing, it was singing in church. And the lady who was training us, she was telling us to, uh, to raise our voice so that we sing boldly and we sing well. And so I was wondering, why is it that I have to raise my voice? Because how does that affect me singing well? I thought if I love God in my heart, I will just sing out to God without necessarily having to raise my voice or my voice will come up naturally. But then I said, if that is what they teach in music, even if you are singing for God, that you still have to raise your voice for you to sing well. So I said, what? Uh, why should I not also try the same thing in my prayer life. Let me try to raise my voice while I'm praying to see if it has the same effect as the one I was told it has in singing. And so I raised my voice and then it worked out so perfectly. Because previously when I was speaking with my voice being low or praying in tongues with my voice being low, I realized that uh, my body doesn't get involved. And that means that, you see like the motion of your hands and the like there are many body parts that you use when you are uh, praying in tongues. And so I realized that if I can raise my voice, then it naturally also just pushes me to use my hands and then uh, stamp my feet and this and that and that. And then with that, it makes it very easy for me to get access to the deep spiritual realms. And it also uh, removes my mind from wandering because now I, I find that my mind is more occupied with the things I'm doing and the physical movements and here and there and here and there that are aiding me to soak deep in the spirit. So this is something that <clears throat> I would encourage you to also do, especially if you have a challenge with praying in tongues for long or you usually fall asleep when you're praying in tongues or you just find speaking in tongues boring, try to raise your voice because when you raise your voice, it is one of the things that will set in motion other activities that will naturally just draw you closer to God. So that's it for today. God bless you. If you'd like to support this work, I will leave details on the screen as well as in the description. You're welcome to send your donations. I will greatly appreciate. God bless you.